Hey guys, what's going on? Red Master here, and yes, not uh, not taking another month to make this upload. Uh, we're back with Ranked with Red on the ladder with Dinosaur Awakening, uh, seeing what it can do, seeing what it's got for us. And if you don't already know the game plan, I'll let you know right now, pretty quick and effective. Combining the good stuff and draw power of Awaken with the chunky, uh, big, overwhelming presence of dinosaurs and mashing the two styles together, which, you know, has worked out fairly well since I made the deck. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do today for uh, the ladder. Got five places I'm asked to do as always. So let's not delay any further and get right in to game number one. All right. And game number one. Let's roll with it here. Magmasaur in the opener. We'll take that. I'll shuffle with the other two. We could have maybe kept Dinosaur Nest. But uh, I do want cheaper cards given the matchup. We've got a red-blue deck. Normally aggro stuff. So we'll see. Uh, Rider is not a bad indication of what is to come. Um, sure, I'll risk Magmasaur here. I'll see what our opponents got for us. He has a removal spell for of any kind here. He might just throw another unit down the line and just might say screw it. But oh, or he plays Flame Prince. Sure, that's fine. Let me go ahead and actually put out some more potential targets for this. Okay, a little rude, but that's fine. I probably could have just uh, I probably could have just gone with the baby dino because that much would have survived that. Bit of a mistake on my part, absolutely. Um, meanwhile, warrior and lumberjack are gonna come out. Interesting. Not the cards you'd expect, but sure we'll we'll see what's up here i'm gonna end up going for the the trade here and i'm gonna shut down the flame prince before it gets any bigger we want to just remove that uh while we have the opportunity to we do have head boy we do have dinosaur nest t-rhinosaur t-rex tyrannosaur i don't know why i'm i just can't say tyrannosaur jeez louise anyways rider coming out here fire drake that's a big one Sure. That's interesting. I'll do this for now. I don't know why the warrior didn't move. That's a little concerning. I'll place Headwood down. Do we have like an air off or like winds here? There's no way we have winds here. Okay, Fire Drake moving all the way up. He said hello. Warrior moving all the way up. He's also saying hello. Sure. That's fine um yeah we'll trade the warrior with the headwater or at least we'll get rid of it uh we're gonna go ahead and dinosaur nest here put that up here and then just charge the line up here really showing the dinosaur aspect of this matchup which i'm fine with we love showing off the dinosaurs here uh there's a rune warrior right in the path of magmasaur oh dear our opponent might not understand what's happening, which is a very good possibility. Uh, we'll do a bit of a T-Rex into other uh, or more dinosaur boost here. So the baby dino down the line here, get the B8-9. This should be a, a game over at this point. I don't see. Oh, my God. <laughs> Based Eye of Flame user spotted. Oh, jeez. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit here. Um, I'll just clear out the Eye of Flame. We'll give the Eye of Flame the respect it deserves and just take that out of the equation. And then land the big 8th blow for the victory. Um, it's unnecessary, but we got to respect the Eye of Flame's big threat level. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to game number 2. Alright, and that game number 2 underway with the Blacks within hand, a couple of, a lot of 4 drops here. I'm keeping on to the 4 drops because we are going 2nd. If turn 3 comes down to it, we could just spawn in um, any one of those 4 drops. Okay, this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, it is essentially going to be Mono Warlock. I imagine another aggro deck here. Oh yeah, okay. Alrighty. Can I just pull a flamestorm out right now? That'd be helpful. 
That is more helpful though. Go for the Lumberjack here. This is going to work to allow us to get some draw cycle going. Pick up the blue fire bolt, which is very useful. Uh, maybe turn three blacksmith, depending on what we see here. I'm actually just going to start throwing things on the line. Yeah. Let's see if the other Hassan city guard. Yep. Okay. That's going to move up. That's fine. We'll use this opportunity to clear it out by using the blacksmith down here. A little bing bonk. Remove that. He could throw an armory. That'd be like the worst case scenario here for us. Mugging is also bad because it is just straight up removal against our blacksmith, which is a bit annoying. Uh, ooh. Alrighty. Yeah, okay. And there goes blacksmith. That's fine. Guard tower. Homie, you did not just play the guard tower against me in the year of our... I'm going to scream okay uh let's get rid of this so it doesn't cause any issues if he wants to he can maybe mage apprentice our dancing sword but he needs something extra to do it oh boy this is this is a time and a half okay imp coming out Imp's probably gonna do the job yeah so combine that with the mage apprentice please hit the mage. okay thank god but to say don't throw the dragonite into it man you're better than that <laughs> okay all right, I gotta I gotta start working on solutions here. Um, that is not a solution, unfortunately. I'm gonna go headwood here to provide us with a bit of AOE damage that can potentially clear this up really easily. Granted, there's no removal spell, which you know he hasn't really used the warlock ones, if any. Okay, apprentice going all the way out here. You can't reach me from there, bud. I don't know where you think you're going with that, but that's no good. Keeper. Okay, Keeper's a big threat. Keeper's a big boy. Uh, let's see what I can do here. Clears out the Apprentice, which is good. Castle damage. So-so. That's fine. Um, I kind of just want to do this. Coin into Shoden here. Um, our opponent could pop the Keeper into the Headwood to think that oh, I'll get more value. But we do have the blue fireball to clear it. And now show them provide a nice way to do some additional, you know, big ungus bungus damage. So yeah, it goes to the keeper, removes that. Wraith is not what I want to see him pull, because that is a big lad. Of course, I'm going to pop into our castle more. Uh, imp, sh okay, sure. A lot of potential bodies here. If I could draw fear, that would be nice. If he keeps things where they are, I could easily just make big explosion happen oh he's actually gonna block the fear oh he anticipates sure that's fine we're getting dangerously low though we do have to actually start putting in some damage to the castle uh that is kind of important so we're gonna go ahead and do just that i'll put out a couple more targets for this imp to potentially land at because i don't want it hitting castle okay hits the other imp that's fine i'll take that i'll probably use the wraith here to yeah push the shodan back Bit a weird spot to do it but sure move that out of the way yeah we do have to we do have to start getting close that's this is no longer a uh an option we can do just it's time to push in and do some ungus bungus things uh wait uh um, could just double armory but i don't know how good that feels uh you know what i might as well it keeps things alive which is important Yeah, we need to get better trades out. Plus, we just have Darkbender, so I'll shoot big with uh, Ungus, Dar Ungus Bungus Darkbender. Unless the Drake is first setting up a Rakanoth, too. That's also a problem I have to keep in mind. Um, oh, shit. Dance? That's not going to be helpful for him, really, at all, I think, in this matchup. Dancing Swords? Sure. Swords is fine. Yeah, that Drake is going to be setting up a... I don't like that being there. See ya. We'll clear that off. 
get the dojo down yeah it's just gonna be a race here i'm gonna start punching in we know one card is shadow dance which again i don't think is gonna get any use out of this deck um and i think if one card is raka i have no honor yeah because i see you have the raka on you you bingus jeez man's like acting like i've never played a cards and castles match in my life all right let's go ahead and hit here uh i'm gonna probably be safe just charging in the dinosaur rider here because that flame print cannot reach any of the armories so we'll just push it in to be like the killing blow with dinosaur nest at least i hope uh banshee is not gonna be enough into raka he'll shoot there that's fine oh he's gonna dance it he's gonna dance it to make sure that we actually lose the uh dark bender which is cute I'll, I'll i'll give it that that's cute it'll dance the flame prince which again i think is fair oh yeah so he's blocking me here oh okay well i'm gonna hit this because i know okay rush this in rush this in uh let's see one two three so we'll probably put this here for now to block for the battle cry i think that'll work and yeah we're working on a few turns left ramrus comes out okay gives the flame prince a bit of a bigger Ooh, uh oh we'll take that oh well, yeah he'll just move into block which is fine you know it's acceptable can i draw fear no i do not get the fear but i do get a big mordok which is also good rush all these guys up i mean mono warlock what am i looking at going to do damage like that maybe should have gotten rid of the uh what do we call it the flame prince but i think this is fine Salahar Rider can do, yeah, can do whatever it wants. Vampire coming out. Anything on the vampire? Probably not. Yeah, he's just going to try and block here the best he can. That's a good connection there. Gets rid of that. I mean, we can just, we can just win right here no matter what he does. There's no way he blocks all of this. We have Mordok, which generates a unit. The babies can pop the rider. It it's just ooh, it is big. Okay, and there is the. You know what? I could do the. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to copium. I changed my mind again after as soon as I did that. <laughs> I know, I know. That's bad. That's bad of me. That's bad of me. But we'll slap down the W there. We'll walk away with a, another win interesting little mono warlock deck i'd have to ask if that uh user was running rakanoth in the hand at this point <clears throat> but uh yeah solid match overall and let's go ahead and jump to match number three all right and next match final fight but it is not the game five so it's a bit disappointing that we run into this guy at what match three ah well it, it is what it is let's start off with the rider here that's fine i feel why does everyone have a rider opening today what who decided that that was okay i'll go for the baby dinosaur here i don't mind just kind of throwing it out as a blocker we'll take the two damage it is what it is um he'll out he'll alpha strike that sure i don't know in what universe you alpha strike that but I, I, okay sure i'm okay with that okay do some damage here no play out of him from there that's fine please let this go in the right way possible no it didn't wonderful oh jesus oh that's not good okay so we lose the headwood off of the salahar last will which is extremely disappointing I thankfully here can armory the Ronin to protect it. We don't have to waste our blue fire here. We can do a nice little numbers exchange there. And now what? Now what are you gonna do with uh okay, another rider? You're gonna alpha strike? No, okay, I'm 
<laughs> no alpha strike here. Gets another Ronin out, which is a bit problematic. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hit him with the one two. We'll hit him with the blue fire and then the mischievous imp uh, to follow suit. Again, annoying, but I guess I guess this is some kind of first strike deck, maybe. Oh, for God's sakes. Yep. Okay. I said first strike, and it is first strike. Let's go ahead and fear this back. Um. Yeah, I'll dancing swords here. I'll decide to dancing swords. I might just try to use this as the the big ungus bongus that destroys castle, but we'll see. Uh, first, I'm gonna push into that. That's fine. Where at comes out. Hello, how are you? Good to see ya. Can I draw a headwood maybe? Can I draw a headwood? That'd be great. Headwood would be phenomenal. Headwood. Any headwoods? Let's see if I can do math here. Um, get plus three. It's an eleven. No, it's not gonna be lethal, which is annoying. That's not bad, though. If I play this here... Oh! We'll take that. I will turn... I will take that indeed. The core is going to have nowhere to go. Thrill? Sure. Thrill is fine. Okay, everything kind of moves back into an awkward spot here. Do get T Rex, so I don't think T Rex is gonna do it. Uh, the plus two, plus two. Actually, I might just go T Rex here. Yeah, I'll go T Rex up front actually, because I can push this Demon Hunter back while also threatening some lethal, because the Wear Rat's way too out of position. Okay, Eater. Oh, fucking hell. Should have known. Another Alpha Strikes in this dude's hand. Okay, he went down, so that's pretty telling. Uh. Yeah, here he is. Big surprise that this idiot was lurking here. Um. I'll just chomp it. Why not? We might. I might have fucked this a little bit. Instead of just going for the headwood to end the game, now I'm letting him build up and get close, and I need the extra turn. I was hoping I could draw, like, I don't know, Ride of Awakening, but I, I guess it's a little, that's too much of an ask for me. <laughs> uh, Elblade. Yikes. All right. Yeah, I might. I might have bunked this. I might have bunked this. Just a little bit. Um. Yeah, no matter what I do, I, I mess this up. There's not enough space for me to just kind of put things down. I should have just gone with the headwood and, and prayed, really. I am... Oh, that's painful. That's painful, but what am I going to do? I don't even have to do that. Yeah. I mean, technically, I can come up and do this. Sort of a two-person block. So we can't get everything in, but I don't know. He might just go for the magma sword clear and just call it a day. He can't lethal here. I think we block too many spaces to move properly. Unless he has like the L blade, but again, well, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Okay, armor gets hit from behind. That's an interesting one. I mean, he still gets rid of the magma sword, so yeah. Man, if I could just pull right now, that would be chef's kiss come on one right for the one time one right for the one time it's we're not we're not dead yet baby come on Fuck. ah uh, yeah 
That's tough. I'll give him the uh, the surrender there. Not not good. We we probably might have had it, but again, also was a good chance of you know it not being that and doing the same outcome. Um, but yeah, we we would never know. Anyways, not a not a great third match, but that's fine. We'll move on into the last two, and hopefully, we can do uh, we can correct our wrongs. All right, and let's go ahead and start the road to correction now. As, uh, honestly, not a bad hand. Imp, Masuda, Smith. Not really, uh, too bad of an opener. So we'll see what I can do against fellow Warlock Ninja, it looks like. Very nice. We'll see what, uh, we can do with this. Hmm. Probably open Suda, right? I don't know. In my gut, I have them feeling to go for uh, Masuda turn two. But actually, maybe Imp turn two, Masuda turn three, Rider turn four. I think that's the play. Yeah, I think that, that, that might be better. We might be going up against an Awaken Ishmir. Yeah, okay. There's, there's Masuda. Masuda's going to be a bit of a pain, but... Well, we'll get past it. I'll maneuver Imp here to try and knock out said Masuda. But... Uh, I don't know. I'll have to double... Well, double check. I say double check. If I have the ability to look over what my opponent has in hand and go, Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Just... <laughs> yeah, not exactly the case that I could do yet, but... Okay, it's fine. Um, okay, Masuda comes in, comes a knock in. That's fine. Passes, though. Nice. Do you get the connection on Masuda, which is big? We didn't really have a way to get rid of that otherwise. Well, we did have a way to get rid of but I wouldn't have liked to put the 3-1 uh, to the 3-2 when we could have easily just popped it for free there. I don't mind taking the damage. It, it is fine. There is a Sentry Golem, however. Okay, Golem's a bit of a pain. So let's see how I can run this. Kind of move things around here to see if maybe I can intercept the Golem before it gets too big. This might be just straight Golem Voltron. Uh, I grow very big Golem and punch it down your face. My suspicions were correct. My suspicions were very correct. Shit. That's not good. Uh, yeah, very, very not good. Because even with everything, we are, we are short damage. Ugh. That is painful. Uh, let's see if I can pull off the top here with this. Another Masuda. Another Masuda's not bad. Put this in. You're off by a single point of damage. Oh, that's painful. That hurts my soul. Yeah, I don't have any dinosaur plays. I mean, maybe if I feared, but uh, I don't know. I'll let the Ungus Bungus take some damage in, though. Pray that there's not a Saurus in hand or another right. Me and my big mouth. Me and my big mouth, indeed. Jesus. Okay, another 14 points worth of damage. It's never, never good. Although I think I might be able to just clear this with Mordok and call it a day. Because we'll have the Masuda debuff thing, right? And then I just coin out into the Mordok, yeah. I just gotta take it. Just gotta boink. And then. Uh. You know what? Let's do a bit of a, some. Let's do some smarter cleanup. Let's pop Soldier while we're here. And I'll just Blacksmith and Horseman. To clear that up. Yeah. Not pretty, but again, gets the job done. And that's what we need to uh, just pretty much get the job done. <laughs> uh, Sarah's gonna come in, take three. That's fine. 
anything that our opponent can do. I mean, he's got seven gold with four cards. There should be follow-up. There has to be follow-up. Yeah, okay. Badger is fun. Uh, Badger is fun. Yeah, I'll just go Shoden here. He has the ability to pop Badger first, make it, I think, like, what, 7 8, but it's fine. Unless this is going to be the second Voltron target, and I have to go through a big ass Badger as well. Multi. Okay. Multi is game over if there's a fear in hand. Which there isn't. Oh, never mind. It's only a six. I thought it would be more. That is a bit of a pain in the butt, though. Soldier. Okay, this is going to be good. Let's fear back you. Get you up. Right. Clean this up. Pass back. It's something, right? <laughs> it's something. We might just went off of some jank headwood stuff, but... Oh, okay. Or not. Blue fireball, dojo, and another pass. That's fine. I will uh, simply swords headwood. I'll put the same targets back out on the board. No dragon's fire can clean this up. Needs another bolt. Needs two. No, needs those two cards to be two blue fire bolts exactly to clean this up. I think that or fear. Okay, golem's coming out. Golem's a big asshole. I mean, he has to throw it out to block. Oh, okay, he has Ronin, which also doesn't work. Bo uh, okay, I think he thinks that this is just gonna not. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I see why he can do that now. That's fine. Um, move this out here. Put this out. Dojo. Ronin hit there. I mean, he's going to get the draw off the dojo. But it's better than keeping a unit on board. The golem has to trade with the swords. And if Magma Sword just walks right in and pops for one of his and have a removal. So this should be game. I think. I pray. Okay. Yep. Golem trades there soldier meditation yeah that's game very nicely done wow what a what a what a nice game for uh for the both of us here the big golem the the multi-strike badger the headwood comeback all phenomenal stuff love to see it and a very nice game from from miracle here very nicely done uh but with that being said we do have one more match to go for our final place for the day let's get it done and see where we can end up all right and our last game of the day rider and nest looking fine but i want some cheaper things here imp is going to help us out t-rex probably for later uh let's get it done against the yellow pirate player which is most likely going to be some kind of greed school stuff if i had to take any sort of gander yeah, I'll go for Imp up top here to try and connect with the Priest early. And we'll try to set down Dojo if we can. Turn 3 for a sword, turn 4 for some draw. Try to get the Awakening Engine going as fast as possible here. Priest going to chop in for 3. That's fine. Pass back what we love to see. That, however, is not what we like to see. We did not get the clear on that, which is fine. Could try to go for it again to be honest no okay i do some draw though it's not like a total waste Ugh. i thought i could just sneak in and and pop the priest for free but no nope 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 I, mm, oh okay interesting a complete pass turn four from our opponent here is surprising tunnel escape Okay. Interesting uh, card choices here, I will admit. I'll go ahead and put things on the board here just a little bit. Um, 
Yeah, that's fine. I'll just go Magnosaur. Okay, Lumberjack. Nice way to clean up the Dancing Sword. Get some draw. Not bad. Tunnel Skate moving down. Dino Rider moving in. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that is that is a position. Um, we know he's got some multi movement spells, so we're not gonna do that. This very well might be uh one of those dwarven decks. So maybe I'll just put out Darkbender Lumber for now instead of going what I originally was going to go for in T-Rex Baby. Probably isn't the move here. We'll just set up some more threats to keep him threatened. More threats to keep... Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, I English speak good. Okay, Armory going down. That's fine. Maybe Paladin comes out con artist okay con is a little spooky i don't want to kind of just give him the gold so we're gonna go shoden instead and see what he throws to block A lot of cards in hand but not a lot of action happening okay i'm gonna try and go for the magma store would like to pull a dino nest if possible if the heavens would allow me such a enormous opportunity <laughs> okay he's being he wants to kind of block here as well archives for some draw not bad he's probably looking for more buffs and he found more dwarves instead also works hello you're a little too close you know that you happen to be a little too close sir you happen to be a little too close oh wow okay i see okay i see you i see that is what we're doing here that is the plan of action if you um I guess I'll go here. Uh if I hit the Mordok, Mordok wouldn't survive. Let's go ahead and do a fear here. Shoot, I can pull. I will go right I will go baby armory we'll do this clear that off pull that off the top save that okay that's good that's good oh we like that okay so we're gonna do some trading here that's fine smith sure on ours as well yep get some use out of that it has to be a mithril in this hand at some point no where is the mithril Show me your dwarven mithril, damn it. Uh, that's fine. Is that potential game right here? Let's find out. I think this might be. Yeah, because we do this. Mordok trades here. Run this up. And yeah, that's that's game. Beautiful. Pew. Wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff indeed. Ah, oh, what a great way to end off the match. And uh, great way to end off the series too. Not a 5-0 perfect, but... I will certainly take going uh, for one with a 2686 score to be very expected uh, in these times. So uh, not bad, not bad. Uh, very, like I said, nicely done. And uh, I think that's going to be it for me. So go ahead, close out the video.
So, like I said, that's going to be it for me for today, guys. Hope you did enjoy the Dino Awakening deck showing off once again on the ladder. If you did, be sure to let me know your thoughts on the deck in the comment section below. And we're down there. If you haven't done so already, be sure to share the video, like the video, and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Or always forget the subscription part. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much just for being here, for supporting the channel. You know, it means a lot. Uh, especially in these times, I'm, I'm all over the place. I do apologize like, for, for, for not being on YouTube. And I said this in the last video too, but, uh, you know, yeah. I, I do appreciate those who are stopping by still to check up on the videos just to enjoy some card games with me, so. All right, with that, hope you guys stay safe out there. And until next time, stay gaming.